And with the loud pops and booms of the fireworks, the Hawaiian Humane Society is working to reunite lost animals with their owners. Kimberly Speakman now has a story that's new at 10. Kimberly. Lauren, I'm told around this time is when calls start pouring in from worried owners missing their pets. At the Hawaiian Humane Society, staff are preparing for a busy night. It's kind of all hands on deck tonight. We've got a, we've got a, a you know, reinforced number of people to answer phones because we expect more calls. Roselle says they're already seeing more lost dogs get brought in. They start coming in uh, a few days before in, in higher numbers. I myself uh, found one on my, my neighborhood street a couple nights ago. He says pets with ID tags or updated microchips make it easier for their staff to locate the owner. Our admission staff scanned, yes. Within 30 seconds, I was talking to the owner, a neighbor of mine. So that is the best case scenario. And if it has a microchip, we have your contact information, we have your email address, we have, your, we have information that you gave us to help reunite. If your pet doesn't have a microchip, he says it gets a bit more complicated. Lost pets will have a picture taken, which will then be posted on their website. First thing first, look up that website. If it's here, it'll be on there. Uh, second, come down. Come down, talk to our staff, and they'll give you a walkthrough to see if you can find, find your animal. He says if you can't find your pet on the website or at the Hawaiian Humane Society, keep checking back. You know, the thing about a lost pet is they may not be found immediately. Right? They may run away in a rural area. They may be walking down the road or hiding. So we're likely to hear of pets throughout, throughout the night. Roselle says that they'll also be updating their social media sites in addition to their website. We'll have links to where you can get those updates on our website, khon2.com. Lauren.